is Adam and Eve's story a myth? Actually, if Adam and Eve is a myth, you will be a myth. Because who started humankind? You have to have a grandfather. So because you had never seen your grand-grandfather, was he a myth? So why you are living now? Because you see him in a picture in your house, but this man is a historical man. He lived on earth maybe 100 years ago. So that's the grandfather. So starting the humankind with a man, that's very much accepted. It's very logic. There should be a start. Because the human nature is one. We all having the same nature. We don't have different natures. Animals are different species and natures. Plants are different in nature. But humankind is one kind, one nature. That's why, according to our belief, Christ, the Logos of God, came to take our nature and to make our nature His personal nature. That's why Christ is full God and full man in one nature. So having this um, unity of nature, that's the source of our life. So Adam and Eve are never myths, because if we believe Adam was like part of mythology, we will end up thinking that Christ also is a myth. And also all the stories of the Bible, some people may consider them partially a myth. No, these were real historical events happened. The story of Noah, the story of Jonah, the story of the flood, the story of Moses. These were real people living on earth. And also Adam was a real man. Eve was a real woman. That's the start of humanity. And also St. Mary and our Lord Jesus Christ are real persons. So we never think of our Bible stories like mythology. Because this is, you know, a heresy. Maybe it's a recent heresy. But when you go and study the commenters of the forefathers, the early fathers of the church, they never commented on any of the stories of the Bible as myths. They were speaking the truth, telling us historical events happened, and they all share in understanding the salvation for humankind.